So um, parties. Now, what we there are parties galore, and go to as many as them you can. Have fun, you know, get free stuff, meet people, get the free drinks, hang out, have a good time, again, network, and have fun. Um, how do you find out about the parties? Um, well, there is. Oh gosh, let's see. Well, I will say one thing. First of all, the Australian Music Office will be sending out a list of all. We get a master list of all the parties. Yeah. So you'll be getting that from us very soon. We compile it, and it's like ten pages. Our speed of every single one of them. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to go to all of them. You'll make a list. So look for that. That's one thing we do. But in the meantime, you can go to the South by Southwest site, and they have parties and events listed on there. Yeah, they won't show unaffiliated parties, which so many of them are unaffiliated. But, I mean, at so many big brands. I mean, Filter Magazine, Fader Magazine. Dickies, uh, you know, Spin. Name, name some sort of blog or magazine from the U.S. or anywhere, really, in the drink. world is throwing some sort of day event. And a lot of times, it will just be on their website closer to, to the event, and you can just RSVP. Or talk to people. Just say, hey, who you – you know, when you, you meet people, hey, what parties are you hitting up? And you can also search – the unofficial party list because everybody likes to make sure that everybody gets the invites. But yeah, okay, you guys. Um, and uh, you'll it'd be amazing what you find out. And, and sort of like I said, when you have free time, you know everybody makes new friends down in South by Southwest, and you compare lists and maybe follow somebody that you just met, provided that they seem like they're normal, and um, you know discover other parties that way. I mean, generally most of the parties, some are list only, but there's more that aren't. And, uh, you know, what I always say is I think because bands play so many different shows, I did to see a lot. You know, it used to be when it started, it was like daytime was for meetings and nighttime was for seeing yeah. bands. And then as the more corporate influence came and you had money for these day parties, that's really for me what South by Southwest is all about. The nighttime, I tend to, like, relax a little bit and see the stuff that I wanted to see during the day. But it's really much more about the daytime experience now. So, like, it's great to sleep till four in the afternoon. Trust me, I wish I could do it, but, you know, get a solid breakfast, and the first band starts at 12, and you'll see stuff from 12 to 6, it's usually about an hour break, and then it starts again. And those daytimes are really the hours where you get to see people or meet up with people or meet people that at night you might not necessarily have the time to. So it's really, you know, what was my point? What was my point? Your point was that uh, it's going to try to see as much as you can. And look, those parties, you're going to get free food, you're going to get free drinks, you're going to get your meals, you're going to, like, you're going to get free stuff, you're going to get swag, you're going to get uh, magazine subscriptions, t-shirts, just enjoy it. And, and sort of like the, the exclamation point on this whole experience is definitely, definitely, definitely have fun. It's an amazing experience and you will get something out of it. Uh, have realistic expectations. But uh, there's so much to do, so much to see. Be organized going in, and a lot of that goes out the window when you get down there. Yeah, so, and Sixth Street's a, ma a mob scene. Like it's like nothing you've. Ever, it's like Mardi Gras, St. Patrick's Day, and what's going on in Egypt all rolled into one. <laughs> like it's insane. Okay. And <laughs> I'm making a point here. But so, and here's the other thing. Like there might be a band you really want to go see. I think I see one of them smiling actually. There might be a band you really want to go see, and they'll be like this ridiculous line. You know what? My opinion is, unless it's like the band that inspired you to pick up a guitar, go find a place with less of a line because there's so much going on. You don't want to sacrifice one thing for another. You'll have other options too. That's also the good part about the day parties. You don't have to worry about that big thing that everybody wants to see at the showcase. You can sort of figure out when you're going to see them other times. Cool. So, David, I want to uh, spend some time on questions so we can get, we can get everybody in. Do uh, you want to just uh, do a whip around? Definitely. Um, okay, we'll start here in Melbourne. We need some questions, okay, over here? Yeah, um, I'd, I'd just like to know, my name's Mark, by the way, um, I'd like to know about the, uh, about the press kits, because I've, I've, I've heard it mentioned a lot since we, we got on this South by Southwest thing, um, and I've looked around for it. Now, there's those Sonic bid ones that someone said over there, don't even worry about it sort of thing, but is, is, is your MySpace or your, your, um, your website essentially a press kit or, or do you look for a specific thing and and if so uh, no a link to the music is fine yeah it can be soundcloud it can be bandcamp whatever is a is a user-friendly sort of a you know streaming thing you no one very rarely are you going to have time to go onto a sonic bids 
EPK and dig through everything. You want to hear the best song and then yeah, I want to click play and hear something. That's most important first and foremost. And we, we covered this in, before, and I'm like I think you 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 kind of tip to it. Sonic bids has a specific purpose for Sonic bids related events, so it can't hurt to have it. But no one goes to it to check you out. That's if someone says I do have a Sonic bids account. You know, that's how you yeah. get into festivals and things like yeah. that. So your MySpace. Tried and true, that's that's your press kit. MySpace, Facebook, Bandcamp are probably the top SoundCloud. three. SoundCloud, Reverb Nation. And, and, about YouTube? and also, I mean, it's about the songs. What? YouTube? YouTube? Sure, why not? Sure. You can yeah. click it, and I don't, and it plays, okay. it works. All right, so what are, just kind of getting off track also a little bit. It's some, some things you can do. Okay, look, you're down there. Film yourselves. Film your show. Stream it back. Get content. Make something cool. Uh, we're at South by Southwest. It's you'll see the madness. I think your fans in Australia will dig to oh, see you there. Cool, you're yeah. in front of Stevie Ray Vaughan's statue. You're, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Film it. It's a great place to get content and stream it back and, and upload it. Yeah, I think that's actually a very cool idea. Yeah. Okay, Melbourne. Any other questions? Yeah, I'm taking my band over there, but we aren't um, signed up to play. We're just going to go as delegates, so we can do the walk-up delegate thing, can't we? To get a wristband or a yeah. Yeah. wristband, yeah, um, yeah wristbands, wristbands do sell out. I gotta be honest with you. So when you get, I thought you have to get a wristband through somebody who already has a badge. I didn't think you could just get a wristband, but I could be wrong. But you're right, Daryl. You do need a badge or someone, a friend with a badge, to get you a wristband. So okay, keeping it moving in anywhere, Melbourne. It's all quiet here, Pete. So how about we move on up to Sydney? So Lee, if you guys are there, okay. any questions? Hey, Lee. I think we're all good here. Okay. okay. Thanks, Lee. Okay, Brisbane, come on. Don't make us look bad. Okay, so, not, no questions in Brisbane. Nothing, yeah, sorry. Rick, no questions, Rick? Pete, I'm not allowed to questions. I used them up in the last four it's years. So many people. Uh, Rick, you've, been, you've, been, you've been there enough. You, you, you know the deal. Hi, this is Anita. Um, my question is about South by Southwest. Yeah, what genres of music are represented there? Name it. Everything. Like, it's everything. Um, I mean, not a lot of gospel, but I mean, you know, you have punk Never. rock, metal, electronica, world. some country, some blues, world music. I mean, it's hip hop, hip hop. It, it's it's everything. It's it's you know, it's like a giant loud DJs? live record store. DJs, DJs? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, is there a specific kind you're looking for that you feel that? Uh, I sing jazz, and I just wondered if. There would be any point. I think, there, I think there's, there's jazz nights. There's, there's jazz there nights. Some. There's jazz. It's it's not as focused on that. Like there would be a there's a lot of jazz specific festivals and conferences. Yeah. But it's, it's there. There's jazz there. I mean, it's definitely overshadowed by the rock and the and the pop stuff. But um, you know, there's pretty much everything there. Metallica's playing. Okay. Thank you. Well, really? Again, you. Yeah. Do, do most. I mean, do, does your showcase. Uh, provide a backline usually. Uh, do most parties have a backline there? Um, how hard is it to? A lot of the not day all. parties do. Yeah. Not all. The most do, but for the official showcase, you have to check with. You're going to get an email, or your manager, or whoever is your contact person is going to get an email from South by Southwest, and you need to check with them with that venue. Um, and. Rentals are really expensive in, in Austin because they're so in demand. So what you end up doing is sharing. you got to connect with the other bands on the bill and share a kit and share, share backline. So it's not guaranteed no. uh, for, the, for the showcases, believe it or not. So you want to, sometimes it is. So check with the venue that booked you. Check with I mean, your, the rep that is booking you and ask those questions. And if you if they don't, then the next thing is definitely get with the other bands that are playing, because if you have to rent yourself, it's either going to be sold out, you're going to get the wrong thing, or it's going to be you know ten, triple the price because they can get you down there. But it, I think the most important thing is definitely check in with whoever your point person is. Check in with the ref that's, that's going to email you your show info, yeah. or if you if you have a manager or somebody that booked it, ask them if they've been in touch with the ref. Is it, is it worthwhile talking about visas because? Um, yeah. There's specific visas that are needed to enter the United States. Yeah, look, I'll cover that one. Um, the question here was about visas, but uh, that's a whole topic in itself. 
okay, uh, okay. was mentioned, you do need the P1 visa if you're going to perform in the US. And there's a whole bunch of stuff on our website, australianmusicoffice.com, about visas. And if you want to talk to me about it, I can have a chat with you about that. But uh, pretty much it's, it's probably too late now if you need one to get one. Or if you do, you're going to have to pay a premium. So, um, yeah, again, if you want to talk about visas, give me a call, David Jamison in Melbourne, or get onto the australianmusicoffice.com website. And um, there's a whole bunch of stuff up there. Cool. Well, I think that that's about wrapping it up. I mean, again, there's a lot to cover. Uh, you can email me and email David or email your EAs. We have a lot of information we can get you. A lot of things are going to come up. A lot of questions are going to come up. We're also going to, get, going to send out a ton of information about uh, all the Australian music happenings, uh, all the parties, just different information is going to be coming your way. So, so look out for that. And if you don't get anything, you know, email us directly. The other thing is, uh, down in Austin, I'll be there. David Jamison will be there. You can reach us for anything. You know, we're there to help you out if you have any questions, if you have any problems, anything. So just, you know, our information will be in all the correspondence that goes out. But find us, call us, and definitely say hi to, you know, find us anyway. We'll be there. And we'll be at most of the shows, of course. And... Uh, we really look forward to seeing you. You're going to have a great time. It's going to be a great experience. And, um, you know, Sounds Australia also, which we're part of, there are going to be a ton of things happening. So uh, you will not be alone down there, and, and we're really looking forward to seeing you. So hey, any Pete. questions, yeah, reach out to me or David. I'm just going to say also, sorry for cutting in. Um, yep. We have an opportunity for those bands that are going. Uh, it's still open. Uh, there's an opportunity to also perform a showcase gig at the Bunker Bar in the Australian Embassy in Tokyo. So if you want to extend your trip and get a, a flight that stops in Tokyo on the way back, uh, we're doing a one-off showcase invite only for industry there, which we've done before with Old Man River and a couple of other artists. So it's a great opportunity to meet, um, if you're targeting Japan as a, as a territory, as a market, um, it's a great opportunity and probably not, not that much extra on your flight ticket, but um, the information about that is on the main page of, again, the AustralianMusicOffice.com site, and we can also, Pete and I okay. can talk to you about it. Thanks, Dave. Is that only available for South by Southwest bands, or is that for... That, that's available for bands, obviously, travelling to South by Southwest, but we can also virtually represent other bands not going by handing out... We're doing a sample and all that sort of stuff, but, um, yeah. And I was going to mention one other thing. that Something just came up here. If any of the artists that are performing are going to be coming through L.A., uh, Los Angeles... Uh, there may be an opportunity for a show that just came up. You know, there's a couple other things going on, but email me or David if you're going to be in Los Angeles after South by Southwest, and you should come say hi anyway, and we should meet, and we should, we should, I should see you, but uh, there may be a chance to have another show in L.A., and just email me, and I'll, I'll let you know more info about it. And just look, we really appreciate you guys coming out. Um... At this time of night, yeah. and yeah, it, this is probably our um, this is our seventh boot camp, I think, over the last sort of several years. So uh, it's probably one of the best ones we've had. And if you guys don't mind, uh, we've recorded this today, so there's a whole bunch of people that couldn't make it along in person. Would you be okay if we sort of put that up as a YouTube clip so they can get access to it as well? Sure, my mom would love to see that. I bet she <laughs> and, would. And <laughs> for years, I thought you were robust. Thank you guys. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. We'll see you down in Austin. Bye, Thank you. Cheers.